when I first started my studio practice in my career, it was focused on me really and like holding space for me as a, an indigenous woman who is black and Indian. And I was really focused on holding that space because I feel like that perspective is not represented in the art world like period. Um, so I wanted to bring forward those narratives, but now, I mean, that's still a part of the work, but now um, we're on fire uh, and I can't help but then to focus my energy and my studio practice on um, this climate chaos, but more specifically what's happening on the homelands is the water wars and what's causing it um, and colonization, like period. It's affecting me personally. It's affecting me as an artist, as a mama. Um, and if it keeps going this way, we won't have any umbo, any water for my kids. So I'm, I'm, I'm mad, I'm angry in the studio, but behind that is love. So um, anger and love is driving me in my studio right now. But I guess it always has been. Um, I help voice the plight that we're, or the fight that, the, that we're fighting. Um, so I postponed my Switzerland residency, but they were like, we wanna help too. So like, let's see how we can work together. Let's pause your residency, pick it back up when you're ready and they've been throwing opportunities at me. Um, like literally, like Natalie, we have this opportunity. Let's get your work out there and the narrative that um, you want to talk about. So we did a puzzle, um, a puzzle piece. Uh, uh, it's an image of my work that sold in museums like the Whitney Museum. I'm not sure exactly what museum, but, um, and it says Lamb Back on it um, and has my Venmo on it if they want to like contribute. Like that's the title of the work. Um, so these like little moves, you know, these little gestures um, that can bring people in and then bring people in to my backyard where you're at, you know, um, to learn about what's going on through my studio practice. The work I make comes from home. The materials come from home, come from community. Um, I borrow materials, I make materials, I buy, I appropriate. Um, I find uh, it's mostly assemblage in relation to that history, but also in relationship to community and home. Um, I also do textile work, um, which means quilts. A lot of quilts are given. I find, I borrow, like I just borrowed my dad's uh, moccasin for um, Art Basel that I did last year. Um, but in saying that and saying borrowing, people always have People always like a look, look a certain kind of way when I talk about to borrow a material that's then out in the world. Um, but it's um, based on kinship and relationships and maintaining those relationships that's really important in my work. And that's just a gesture towards that um, kinship um, that I carry from my communities. Um, so if I was to meet somebody and to describe my work, it would be um, assemblage, power objects. I consider them power objects um, that are just charged with meaning, materials, history, um, and gesture. Humor is a huge part of the work too. I feel like that's really important um, um, when just as just being a human being, right? Humor is really important and it's been really important um, in communicating um, the narratives that I'm talking about. But even like the signs that we have, like when we're doing the caravan rally through town, um, you know, just, just saying something about how we're fighting to protect our Tuam. So those um, signs that my kids and I made are now in my work. Um, um, what else is neon is in my work now. I'm really excited to work with neon um, to drive a message home. Um, so yeah, it looks a bit different, but I'm still working in, in, in assemblage and textiles, of course, but um, um, I just have added materials now that, I'm, that are new. I'm selling the work, um, I'm in galleries, I'm in museums, um, and I'm, 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 in that, I'm in that lane, but also like I, I um, how do I fight for my homelands in that lane? How do I fight for my children in that lane? Like, how is that possible? And like, is that the route to go? Um, how do I do that? What does that look like? So I think that's where I'm 
that's where I'm headed, but it's all ideas and thoughts and feelings right now. I don't know what that's going to look like through material. I don't know um, where that work's going to be at, but I feel like I'm going to push it in these spaces um, to get people to, um, to feel it and to know it and to learn it. Um, there's material out there to better understand where we're coming from, but um, then it's my job to bring you into where I'm coming from and my personal experiences, because I can't speak for my tribe, um, nor do I want to, but I can speak as a tribal citizen from that tribe who's affected by what we're all going through. I'm always um, navigating my communities, um, but also paying respect to them because I come from them and they've shaped me and they shape the materials that I use in the studio. I don't lead with this idea of activism and being an activist, but I'm a mama and a matriarch and I can't help but fight for um, our food, our water and my kids. So I, I don't know what that looks like yet and like where, where I'm going with the work, but that's where I'm headed. That's where I'm headed. I have to fight for those things right now because without that, I, I, um, I, I don't exist and, uh, and my kids can't exist without those things.